What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pound Revolution 2020, episode 12, I believe, with me, the great mother Russian leader, Shibi Swag. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, last episode we did it. We took Estonia, although I don't know why it's still saying we have a conflict with them. That is, uh, that is a very, very weird. That is extremely weird. What's this? Uh, build a camp? Nah. Uh, Oh, they built a camp into our territory. I thought we were at peace already. Propose a peace treaty order. Oh, maybe, maybe I have to give it a little bit of time. Oh, sure, we still have war. We haven't taken it yet. That's right. That's right. Okay, I remember now. I remember. I thought we already took it. So we are going to integrate it. Once that peace treaty comes up, and what I want to do primarily in this episode is work on fixing our massive unemployment. Because 18, I mean, it's stagnated at 18%, but 18% is still pretty effing bad. And the Russia conflict, the Sony Armed Forces have surrendered. Okay, good. So, the real peace treaty. We want integrated country. Send. Hopefully it doesn't drop our improvement rating too, too much. Let's see here. Is there any... Yeah, just return to base for all units. All right, we do want to get a a road, so we need to go into transportation, which we probably, we can get some points back, so maybe let's put a little bit of money into transportation infrastructure. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Let's go ahead and build a main highway. $2.9 billion. Well, we can technically afford it. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and confirm that. It's going to take 20 months. Available Treasury Reserve. It could lessen the time. Uh, we have almost a million people unemployed. That is very bad. All right, we're just going to leave it at 10, 20 months. Yeah, I know that's going to take a while, but... Public finances, demonstration, tourism. Okay, now we got demonstrators because we just took over the damn country. Our tourism professionals complain. Oh, tourism. For a visitor to different tourist sites in the country, I don't think they're wrong. Recess budget. Nice to perform a new assets. We have a 1.76% budget surplus. Happiness declines, not even one tweet. CO2 emissions are bad. I have to tell you that I am filled with pride. Well, see, at least my mother likes me. Resolution and Sonia has decided to proceed. Okay, well, we're just going to veto that, so, you know, Europe, the whole world can't go to war with us. Wind farm, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and get that rebuilding. Let's dismantle. What else do we have going on? I think that was it. I think that was the only thing that got kind of like knocked out. Oh yeah, their military base is fucking dead. 
Uh, I can't do anything about that, sadly. All right. So protests have already seemed to die down. I don't see any riots or anything breaking out, so that's always a very, very good thing. Oh god, I just wish Ukraine would fucking attack me, because then I can be the victim. Novoskroska. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and. Um, okay. Uh, let's press opinion resolution, demand military infer. Yeah, I am against that. <laughs> Very strongly opposed to that. Anticipate the tensions, yes. The terrorist. Romania the network. The cell informs me that it has had the opportunity. To okay, well, that's good. Got our secret service going in Romania, at least. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and put some... Go ahead and get those dilapidated houses taken care of. <laughs> See, they all would have declared war on me, except me. I'm like, no. I don't think so. NATO. UN. Ooh, Czech Republic. Network confidential information. I have strong suspicion that is Prime Minister Alexei Gubliev's intention to develop a nuclear weapons program. Nice. Okay. Well, intention isn't good. I need hardcore facts. So if you can give me some hardcore facts that Czechoslovakia is attempting to build a nuclear device, then I can do something about it. I can do something drastically. All right, let's go ahead and build. Oh, uh, where was I going to say? Build a highway from. Oh, yeah, here to there. And then from here to here to St. Petersburg. Three billion dollars. Confirm. Uh, okay, well, we'll just keep it at ten. All right, so right now we're just going to get some basic roads down. Moscow, St. Petersburg line. Oh, I guess that's like a subway or a train or something. Tourism, automobile, transport, road, public, public finances, happiness increases in Russia. All right. So next we got to do for uh, work. Uh, legislation. I need, we need to start subsidizing some poor industries, you know, help them out. So let's go ahead and start with farming. You know, their production is almost good. To cons We're already subsidizing them. Oh. Here, what if we bust you up to 750 million? What will that do? Okay, there. Yeah, let's start giving these guys uh, at least a little bit more money. Without killing our budget too bad. Beef is pretty good. We can give them probably an extra million. I think this old beer... Oh, okay. Let's... <laughs> What will 1 million do? Or 100 million? Nothing. All right, we'll give them, uh, here, we'll, we'll do 350 for them. Actually, let's put this on pause. Nothing to report on Lativa. Government waste. Eh. 
Well, what do you want me to do? Fire my entire cabin? I mean, all y'all talking shit about each other, so... <laughs> like, what do you want me to do, man? What do you want? Okay, cereals were good on, so... Actually, we've got really good production on cereals. That might be a really good tray thing we can pump out. Coca. Ooh, okay. Really need to get this industry a good kick in the butt. So let's go, we'll do 350. We're not industry, but okay, there. At least that'll help like bump up production because look at our trade balance. I mean, we're making, we're still making profit, but we're not getting any income tax for it. Employ employment, horrible, horrible employment. So hopefully these subsidies can boost these up a little bit. Coffee, okay, that's another one. Yeah, so see that they got two thousand people working for them. So this will allow them to, you know, hire Obviously, you give them more money, you know, they can hire more people, increase production on their own. I just don't want to go too much past our excess. Okay, well, that's a little bit too much. Let's go. I don't want them to be overproduction, but I just want them to be, you know, good enough to where they can hire more people to increase gradually on their own. Fish, we're good. Aquaculture. Production, subsidize, productivity index. Oh, let's give them a hundred million. Fishing. Everybody's getting a little little something from me unless they really don't need it flower industry. How's your employment? Very bad. You're not even at 1,000 people. In fact, you're at like Like 12 people <laughs> Or 12 percent. I'm sorry. You're at you're at point not even at like 1 percent. You're at point zero one percent You have 7,000 people working for you So yeah, you, you need a little help there, buddy. Okay, so there that should. Oh, see right away that boosted it up to thirty-four thousand people. Employment point five percent. So the subsidies are obviously helping. Grapes were good on. Uh liquor. 640,000 people working in the liquor industry, but that's actually down from two years ago. We had 788. So they might need a little bit more help. Six fifty-two. Okay. Corn tray. Oh dear lord. How many people do you have employed? 16,000? All right, let's bump you up then to about... And now you got 21,000. So see, I, I already know that this is definitely gonna help our unemployment significantly. I well, we can give them an extra million. I mean, they're not doing too bad. Oranges, ooh, oranges really needs help. Manpower, 40 people. It does it just 40? I don't know if that's in a K or just manpower period, 40 people. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, because this was one of the industries we jump started. Okay, well already that bumped that up. 2,000, okay. <laughs> Pork, 400, how do you have 433,000 people? Well, I guess it's not that, I mean, our unemployment's horrific. 
But again, see, all employment is down. Potatoes, oh, we have a production. Okay, we can go a little bit more into potatoes. Give them like 150. Yeah, okay, I was reading that right. Uh, rice. Okay, we're okay for rice. Uh, not really a big rice-making country Russia is. I don't think I am if I'm wrong, guys. By all means, please correct me, but be civil about it. I had uh, one guy, I guess I said something wrong on my Sweden Let's Play, and he threw an absolute shit fit. like, oh my god, how could you not know this? Like, oh my god, like, dude, it's a game, chill. Like, I don't have time for, guys, seriously, if you don't like the video, if you don't like my channel, you don't have to watch it. You know, the moment you hear me talk for five seconds and you don't like it already, just click the X and save all of us trouble. Don't waste your time and my time writing a bunch of BS, all right? It's a game. You know, I don't understand why people first off get triggered over video games. I just don't why it's to have fun. You know, it's all it is. It's just having fun, you know, having a good time, you know. You guys watching the videos, you know, us all enjoying this shit together, you telling me what you would like to see, and I do my best to make it happen. You know? So please just be civil about it. There's no reason for any BS like that. That's why I don't I have all my comments set to hold. I read them and I will get to them as soon as I can. Wow, we have a lot for sugar beet. That's a lot of production for sugar beet. All right, sheep, the little sheepies. All right. Oh, I'm going up. <laughs> okay, sugar cane. Production, nothing. Because they, we started them off with no manpower. Well, they got four, four people. <laughs> uh, okay, sugar Sugarcane is definitely going to need a lot of help. But we'll start at 100 and see what that gets us. Okay, point 0.1. And that raised their manpower to 400. So they're definitely, definitely going to need um, probably a very big boost to get them off the ground. Point 0.8 production. All right, that got them now 2,000 people. So, and I'll only go up from there. How about T? How are we doing on T? Uh, manpower, 19,000. Production, kind of low. Could be a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and give them a little bit more help too. We'll bump up their subsidy. Okay, not that much. <laughs> not that much. We don't need that much T. I mean, we do. Uh, let's see here. How about, how about 425? that just pretty much get us about even yeah okay that's fine i don't mind a little bit of overproduction but i don't want it to be like because then then we're gonna have pretty bad inflation that's really good because then we'll be overproducing and then you won't have enough to um like you'll have enough to sell i could always trade off the excess but you may not have oh my god tobacco has no employees at all <laughs> Hey, at least you can say we're a small, we're a tobacco-free country. Two million, okay. How about two, let's go maybe 650 on these guys. At least get them the point one product, or one point production. So there, see, we just created another 27,000 jobs. So I expect on our next report that our, um, Unemployment is going to go significantly down. Wine. Wine's okay. We don't need that much employment in wine. We have 169,000 people working in wine. I think we're good on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, 341,000 working on wood. Production's at 6% of the world, and that's without subsidies. So we have, we can trade off wood. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, we can trade off. So our tongue is basically like cereal, um, well obviously wood, and I forgot what the other one was. What was it, rice or? Yeah, so rice, wood. <clears throat> 
So there's a couple couple things you know we can use to um, to trade that we'll have some excess in. All right, let's go to our industry because I'm not sure aeronautical constructions. Are these all still pumice? Aeronautical construction. Is this private? Well, what is this? This is, um, <clears throat> oh, we're a shareholder. Thirty-one thousand. Well, we can go ahead and increase the aeronautical a little bit. Uh, aluminum. Oh God, we're good on aluminum. They don't have that much mil uh, automobile construction. Manpower in millions. One point two million people in automobile construction. So that's good. Biotech. 8 million or, or 8,000 yeah 8,000 people in bio okay let's get biotech some let's give them some money gloves no not four billion dollars <laughs> no they don't need that much okay they don't even need that much so we'll go 300 that just increased them to 25,000 that was box tile son of a bitch I thought I clicked on biotech. God, I hate when it does this sometimes. Well, even still, biotech, very, very poor. Only 10 people working in the biotechnology industry. They need, no, not 7 billion. That'll fucking bankrupt me. All right, so roughly about almost 1,000 people in biotechnology. Bottled water production. Oh, we could get a little bit more into that. I uh, didn't do shit. Can I even subsidize this? Let's see. Sometimes subsidies don't really... Oh, there you go. I was going to say, sometimes they do stuff and sometimes they don't. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's just part of the game. All right, guys. I'm not going to waste the entire episode doing this. In fact, I might do a lot of this um, off camera. Maybe later on before the next episode, just so you don't have to go through and watch me subsidize every single little thing. So we'll go ahead, close that there, because there is other stuff we need to do. Let's go ahead and wait for the budget to readjust. Aha, see, look at that, our inflation, boom, already taking. Yeah, we didn't even, we don't even have to change the interest rate. It's, that shit is going down 9.4%. So see, we've already have an enormous effect on our economy. Our economy is gonna grow strong now because we're getting people back to work. Agriculture, yeah, public finances, boom, we're at 100% right there, look at that. We are back up to 100. So right now, if I wanted to, I could actually invade Latvia. <laughs> like, hey boy, you're next. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think two wars within one, uh, so close to each other. I don't think that would be good. I would love to take Ukraine. Oh, God, I would love to take Ukraine. Well, then, Poland. Hey, Germany, you want to make a treaty? Hey, oh, uh, just kidding, guys. I know that was a very bad time in history. Just just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Once I take half Poland, yeah. Once I, you have other half. Sorry if there's any Germans watching. I, uh, I'm sorry. I do not mean anything malicious by it, I promise. Ooh, we could really... Hey, let's let's be friends with Taiwan and then piss uh, China off. Uh-oh. Uh, please, YouTube, don't remove... Perspective analysis, coupled with the ground model on group psychotectonics, has allowed us to identify a potential ally. Eh, uh, no. Actually, you know what? That's one thing we can do right now. Where's my secret service? The labs are on the verge of exploding. Well, we're trying to build more, man. Like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. Like, I have... Look, I have constructions. Look. I don't have construction. They already met their objective. All right, I guess, well, good. More, more employment, then.
we'll build or we'll build eight. Uh, 800 people per, so, oh, 6,400. Oh, there's still more jobs. All right, here, we'll spend an even 10. We'll go ahead and build those. It's not gonna hurt our economy that much. We're still at a pretty good, pretty good excess. Uh, average monthly salary. We could increase agro and food research a little bit. That's not that bad. Maybe even increase their salaries. Give them a little bit more money to spend for their uh, suffering. All right. Uh, all the religious groups. Traffic is jammed. We do not have a public transport to clear the main road, so this we're at, we do this add parking and pollution. To this, we must add parking and pollution. Why would why, why I want to add a pollution problem? I'm pretty sure that's a fucking typo. All right, well, how do I build parking structures, guys? How, how do I build parking lots? Is it in service? <laughs> Is there like a parking parking lot in here anywhere? Tourism, hotel, trade. You know, let's pump a lot of money into that. This will be the last one. Let's let's actually give these guys eight hundred. Let's see what eight hundred million. Oh, that does jack shit. <laughs> these guys would need like ten billion dollars just to even just to even get up there, man, just to even get up there. But they have 2.1 million people working for them, so it can't be that bad. Okay, so, I don't see anywhere where I could, uh, oh. Oh, okay, not that many police. We do need more police though, so let's go ahead and Definitely need to hire more police, that's for damn sure. And we'll up one star into sexual violence. Just to, uh, you know, make some more people happy. Oh dear God, how, what, oh, uh oh. Religions everywhere are rising up. Here we go again with this shit. Uh, now is it because I raised the police or or what? Russia is a model company or what model company country for the WTO. Very nice, thank you. I am a model country. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, guys, I'll go ahead and edit out the military intervention. Pop what military intervention? I haven't given orders to the. <coughs> Excuse me, for the military? What the hell? Uh, let's go in here and see what we got. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of these I'll probably have to have the military intervene. Not here. Here I think we can actually have it under control. All right. I'll go ahead and edit these out guys so by the time I'm done we'll be back at the main screen Last thing before I do though we are going to change Ukraine to political spying and we will end it there let's see here if I can see uh, consult files on secret head so we have suspicions financial aid the terrorist organization. okay we have proof I don't know how I am with the UN now <laughs> so I may not like that. All right, let's go ahead and close all these. But you know what? Maybe we can get sanctions against Ukraine, so I'll go ahead and take it to the UN. I mean, they can't be that pissed off at me, you know, for invading a country. 
You know, I'm just trying to rebuild Russia, man. Like, what's the harm in that? Provide proof that a nation is a threat to international security. Seize the Security Council to denounce a nation that has that threatens world peace. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna jump on the stage and say, "Hey, y'all better do something about this." Uh, go provide. Where are you, Ukraine? Where are you? Where are you? I know you're down here. There's T. Who? There you are. Okay, so we have proof that they're providing aid to terrorists. Damn terrorist. You're fighting terrorists and you're providing aid to them at the same time. Protesters disperse. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The, the clashes have ceased. In Good. The clashes have ceased in the city. All the protesters have dispersed. Yes, we know this already. We have irrefutable evidence that this country is violating international conventions. This evidence should lead you to consider thoughtfully, what shall we do? Should we close our eyes or should we reaffirm the rule of law? Good speech, man. Good speech. And here is one to top it off. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. As always, please be sure to like, comment, Subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to smash that little bell right there so you get notified of all the latest videos as they come available. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe out there and stay swagged.